Hello YouTube, this is jbert1992 with another video on the LG Esteem. In this video I will discuss the ZVC update that came out late December 2011. So for starters, most phones now that were purchased before the new year came with the ZVB software version. Now this can be confirmed by going into the settings. That's a little slow connecting it to the computer. I apologize about that. And then you go into About Phone. Okay. And then you scroll down. And right here, you notice it says ZVC. Okay. That means I have the updated version. If it says ZVB, that means you have the version that came pre installed on the phones before the new year. Sorry about that. This update was to fix known issues and improve performance by fixing power cycle issues due to LTE signal loss, fixing infinity sorry message pop-ups on the home screen, applying Google required GMS R7 security update, improving gallery app location functionality and 3D zoom in quality, fixing Wi-Fi to network handoff and it attempted to fix the excessive random rebooting. All of these things would increase the phone's overall performance by lowering lag and increasing stability. However, the update does remove root access and as, as of January 2nd, 2012, the phone is unrootable with the update. It has been reported by users that the random rebooting issue has not been fixed with this update. In response, LG has announced a known hardware issue with a bad batch of phones that is causing the random rebooting. Possibly searching around on the internet, this isn't LG official, but there may be something eating up too much current and causing a sudden drop in voltage which causes the phone to go below its voltage threshold and thus rebooting. When the phone is plugged in, it gets a constant current with no change, so the rebooting will not occur when it's plugged in. LG plans on releasing a fix to this issue sometime in January. My phone, fortunately, is not included in this bad batch of phones. Other users, though, have reported that the ZVC update cures the rebooting issue. If you do wish to go through with the update like I did, there are a few steps to take. The first step is going to be within the phone itself. So you'll you'll obviously click on I'll go slow that way it loads. You'll click on settings. You'll go down to applications. Here. Okay, and then you'll click on development. And right here where it says USB debugging, this box should be checked, okay? So if it's already checked, then you're all set. If it is not checked, please check this box. Also, if it is recommended that you hit stay awake, but when I did it, I did not do it. Um, also, a charged battery is recommended, but again, I did not do that. Your phone's plugged into the computer. It will charge as it goes. So once you have that step, there's one more step you have to take. So go back to the settings. Okay. And scroll down to where it says connectivity, which is right here. Click on connectivity. Go to default connection mode. And then click on internet connection. Okay. And then get back out of here. In order for your phone to be recognized by your computer, or the updater tool, I should say, you have to be in the internet mode. So now, after you do that, go to this website and I'll put a link in, in the description 
but here's the link in case you just want to type it out and you'll go down to download LG mobile support tool to PC you'll click download and once you download it you should open up a tool let me slide this over that looks like this okay next you're gonna click on install USB driver and at this point your phone should not be connected mine's connected because I have this over here but do not connect your phone until after you install this USB driver okay it's taking a while I don't I don't think it'll work since my phone's already connected but this will open up a dialog box and at the top of the dialog box you'll select Metro PCS as the carrier and click actually what if yeah and you'll double click LGM S910 that's the LG esteem that's the number version and then you'll download the driver once you get the the driver all downloaded, um, you can now plug in the phone into the computer using the USB cable. A notification bar should appear in the upper left notification bar of the phone that looks like a bug, which is right here. Okay, when you pull down your notification bar, it should say internet connection, and then USB debugging connected. That's the two steps we've already done. Okay. After that point, you'll click start updating. Now, as you can see right here, the cell phone is the latest version already, so you don't need to update, but you'll hit start updating. And once you hit start updating, it'll check the connection with the phone to make sure there's no unsteadiness it'll download the update which is 290 megabytes the phone will reboot and then you'll be all set it'll tell you that it's all complete and then you can exit for me I have DSL internet and it took 48 minutes I timed it now it took a third of the amount of time to download it but the rest it took even longer much much longer to actually apply the update when you do apply the update, if your phone has been rooted previously, the root goes away. Um, super user is no longer there. Um, and also the bloatware, if you removed any bloatware, all the bloatware does come back, unfortunately. When I, as, well, I, I uploaded another video showing the boot time after this update, and I got a minute 40 if you would like to look at that video just go into my recent videos or whatever um, but if you guys have any questions please feel free to message me or comment and also don't forget to su subscribe and rate my video I appreciate you guys in watching my videos once again this is jaybert1992 thanks